Thank you, Graham, and good afternoon, everyone. It is a real privilege to be able to present about evolution today at the Sydney Mining Club. To Julian, Graham, and Linda, congratulations on another successful year and a magnificent event today. Um, I echo what Julian says, that it's uh, important that we maintain membership of, of the Mining Club, because the work um, that the club does in promoting the mining industry in Sydney, and more broadly in New South Wales, is very valuable, and on behalf of everyone here in the room today, we do thank you. To the gold sponsors, AME Group and Baird Bear Australia, and all the other sponsors, thank you for your ongoing contribution and support to the club. When I was told today that the event was sold out, I thought, was this due to the wonderful work that the Sydney Mining Club does? Or was it because everyone wanted to come to listen to the recently anointed legend of the gold industry and the main speaker today, Jake Klein, who will no doubt razzle and dazzle every one of us with his normal style of presentation? But then twigged for me that, as Julian said, this is the last lunch of the year. Therefore, everyone really is coming here today to meet up with industry colleagues and friends for lunch and a few drinks. And because it's Thursday, that means we're going to have a few more drinks after the lunch and go downstairs, as Julian said. And as is normal today, uh, in today's world, we can all work from home tomorrow. <laughs> I'm hoping that many of the Evolution team, who has worked extremely hard in the last few weeks, takes that approach. The main fo focus of the presentation today, though, is about the exciting things that we're doing at the cowl operation here in New South Wales, which, as Graham said until Tuesday, was our only asset in New South Wales, but we now double with the acquisition of North Parks. I'll touch a little bit on North Parks uh, in the presentation, but really today's focus is about the quality of the asset at cowl and what it does in deriving value for the region and for the state of New South Wales. As Graham said, we're very pleased to have the Mayor of the Bland Shire here, Brian Monaghan, the Mayor of the Forbes Shire, Phyllis Miller, and Ali Coe from the Wadri Condobolin Corporation. Thank you for making the effort to come down here, but more importantly, thank you for the important role that you play in making Cal such a successful operation for us. Evolution respects and supports the Indigenous communities in which we operate, both here and in Australia. We acknowledge also the Gadigal people of the Eora Nation where we are gathering for lunch today. We pay our respects to the Elders past and present and to all First Nations, Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people. This slide shows the customary disclosure regarding forward-looking statements and everyone here is reminded not to place undue reliance on the information and you should form your own views. So just a snapshot for those of you who don't know about evolution. Our market capitalisation is approximately $7 billion and as shown there we have a very large mineral resource and reserve base with our gold endowment being 30 million ounces and 11 million ounces respectively while the copper endowment is 1.8 million tonnes and one point well, and one million tonnes, respectively. Following the completion of the North Parks acquisition, our FY24 guidance is 789,000 ounces and 62,500 tonnes at a really a sector-leading, low all-in sustaining cost of $1,340 per ounce. Since 2013, when we implemented our, our dividend policy and paid our first dividend, we have paid 21 consecutive dividends, which has returned over $1.1 billion to our shareholders, in addition to the share price growth that we've been able to achieve. At Evolution, our strategy and approach has always been to build a business that prospers through the cycle. This has not changed since we formed in 2011, and the strategy remains clear and very consistent. I think what you'll see when we talk about North Parks, it's very much aligned to the strategy. And in the recent high cost inflationary environment, it is shown that this strategy is a strategy that works. 
We want a concentrated portfolio of high quality, long life, low cost operations that are in first world jurisdictions. We're willing to take appropriate geological, operational and financial risks that enables us to generate adequate returns for our shareholders. And that is backed by having a very strong balance sheet. The realisation of value is driven by how we execute against the strategy and it is underpinned by our values which we must live out every day. Those being safety, excellence, accountability and respect. So very briefly, on Tuesday we announced entering into agreements with CMOC to acquire the 80% interest in the North Parks Mine located right here in our backyard in New South Wales. It is very close, as you can see on the map, to our cowl operation. We genuinely consider ourselves privileged and honoured to be the new custodians of this asset, along with our partners Sumitomo and Triple Flag. It's an operation we've reviewed many times over our, our journey, and it is one that we thought would be an excellent fit and addition to our portfolio. It's a reliable, well-established, long-life copper and gold operation. It fits extremely well in our strategy that I just outlined and will become our sixth operation in the portfolio later this month. What is particularly attractive to us is the very long mine life that ahead of it of around 30 years. It's an operation that's been operating for 30 and has at least 30 more to go. It's had a tr consistent track record of reliably and predictably delivering and it is one that is in a cash generation mode moving forward in the next few years after a period of recent capital investment. As I said, we look forward to taking ownership of this later, the month, later this month, which we think will be a long and rewarding uh, period for our shareholders and all stakeholders. Importantly at Evolution, we really do talk about making Evolution a career highlight for our people, they, be they our employees or our contractors. Having a highly engaged and diverse workforce is fundamental to being able to deliver against our plans and against our strategy. When you consider that labour costs in our business comprises around 40%, 46% of our cost base, this makes them one of our most largest and valuable assets in the organisation. In terms of diversity, we acknowledge that we must do more as a company and as an industry. Our short-term priority is to lift participation rate of women at Evolution to the mining industry average and then to go beyond that. We also continue to work on increasing the level of Indigenous employees in our business, which currently sits at a low 6%. We have strong partnerships with New South Wales Mining and the Gold Industry Group, and specifically at Cal, which employs approximately 500 people and have around 100 long-term contractors, where our workforce is mainly residential, with 75% living in the Bland and Forbes shires. This was a good segue into Cal and where it sits into our portfolio. And when you look at it, it is absolutely a cornerstone asset for evolution, contributing materially to the group last year, with 42% of our production and 39% of our group operating cash flow. Production's guided to increase 16% this year to around 320,000 ounces, following the commissioning of a new underground mine earlier this year. It comprises 29% of our resources and 41% of our reserves, and importantly, has a very long life ahead of it. I really do think the best way to introduce such a world-class asset is via a very short video. Located 350 kilometres west of Sydney, near West Wyalong, on the traditional lands of the Wiradjuri people, is Evolution Mining's Cowell Operation. And it's here where Evolution has safely mined gold since 2015, transforming the asset into a world-class open pit and underground gold operation. At Cal, we are committed to safe and sustainable operations. We embed sustainability into everything we do across our business to ensure it delivers true value to all stakeholders. With our underground mine now in production, we are well positioned to deliver 320,000 ounces this year. 
This is an exciting time for the business, with the mining lease renewed through to 2045 for both open pit and underground operations. Our operations are adjacent to Lake Cow and we pride ourselves on the environmental management practices. We proudly employ approximately 500 people, in which 75% of those choose to live locally and I am one of them. Since Evolution acquired Cow, the community of West Wyalong has been transformed. Community is really important to us and we can work closely with the Bland, Lachlan and Forbes Shires. Something we are really proud of is our relationship with the Wiradjuri Condobolin Corporation. We recently showcased this and took the receipt of the New South Wales Mining Community Awards for the work that we did together to set up Galari. One of the highlights of our partnership has been a pathway for other young people to enter into full-time work with Evolution and at the moment, I think in the last few years, to date we have uh, about 11 young Indigenous uh, Wiradjuri uh, people that have moved into mainstream employment out at Lake Cow. It's increased our population, uh, it's increased our uh, housing supply, uh, we've had more services as a result of the mine, uh, we've got new preschools and other facilities. Uh, I can honestly say that uh, the mine has brought great benefits to the Blanchard. With a current mine life to 2040 and a feasibility study underway to expand the open pit, the future looks bright for Cowell and local communities. I trust that gives you a good insight into how how good an operation Cal is, and our, our main actor there, who I didn't mention earlier, Joe Mammon, who is the general manager, is, is also in the room today. As noted in the video, we acquired Cal in 2015, and at that time, the mine life was actually due to run out next year. Since then, we've invested over $1.5 billion in multiple projects to improve the returns on the investment and to extend the mine life. We've successfully extended the mine life by a total of 16 years from 2024 to 2040, with plenty of options to extend that further. We've also increased the production rate against the backdrop of a declining open pit grade through the development of the new underground mine. During the period of ownership, we estimate the economic value to the region of $1.6 billion and have paid over a half a billion dollars in royalties. As I've just said, there's many options to extend the mine life at Cal. We are undertaking a feasibility study for open pit continuation, having recently completed a public display of the project, which has been very positively received by both the community and the regulators. The project will extend the open pit operations by 10 years and extend the overall operations out to 2042. We continue to engage with the community and regulators on this project to ensure that we can deliver it in a socially responsible and sustainable manner. While Cal has fully repaid all of its acquisition and subsequent capital investment at a very good rate of return for our shareholders, what is just important for us is that we are delivering on other, to other stakeholders, including the community in which we operate and to the state. We aim to deliver a sustainable long-term economic benefit. As this slide shows, we have cr created a material economic benefit to the local and regional areas, as well for the state government. Since owning cow, we've delivered over half a billion dollars of economic benefit to the total regional areas, local and regional areas, and $140 million in royalties. However, when you look at the gold bars there on the right, you'll see the significant opportunity that the extensions that we've been able to achieve from 2024 out to a mine life now of 2040, it sees that there's a 200% increase in benefits for both the local and regional area of about $1 billion and a 230% extra royalties to the state government equating to $320 million. Our view is that the regions that generate the royalties should be receiving their fair share of those royalties and unfortunately that is not the case and it is something that we as an organisation along with our local shires want to continue to work with the government on. 
Sustainability is also integrated into everything we do, and it's a key component of being able to continue to operate. We work hard in all areas of sustainability. As Ali outlined on the video, we have a close working relationship with the Wiradjuri people, and the award for the Galari Agricultural Project being our most recent mutual success. We provide support in many ways with the community in the Central West and the benefits mentioned by Mayor Monaghan. The floods last year impacted many of our employees and surrounding people. Many of our employees spent days or weeks helping out while Evolution provided financial and in-kind support. The metal we produce is also being used in iconic sporting trophies, with gold from the operation being used in the 2016 and 2022 Melbourne Cups, while silver from the operation will be used to make all of the trophies for the 2025 Australian Open. So in summary, we continue to focus on safe and reliable delivery while focusing on margin over volume. This is at all of our operations, not just Cal. Cal has transformed into a world-class operation which is a cornerstone asset in our portfolio. It has multiple organic growth options to deliver long-term returns and ultimately create sustainable benefits for all of our stakeholders. Thank you for your time today.